under the play, okay? So if you get that out, we can take a look at it. This little triangle, right, that we use and we draw our arrows through so we know what order we're going in, right? Wait. Well, if you actually look at it, do you see how these are in blocks? They're actually segmented off. The periodic tables, it's designed the same way. So what we want to do is color each block SPDF on the periodic table. There's actually blocks, just like there are here. The columns on the periodic table are, there's an S block, a P block, and a D block. You're going to label the noble gases. Where are those at on the periodic table? The bottom. Noble no, 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 gases right, right, right. right here. Right, you need to know those, all right? Noble gases. Right? Noble gases are those right there. And then basically, all you need to do is count across each row to determine the electron configurations, okay? All you need to know is, hey, where's the S at, where's the P, and where's the D, right? Think about this, the S. How many electrons can, can an S orbital hold? Two. Two. S holds two electrons, right? What about the P? How many does it hold? At max. Think about P has how many lines? Six. Six. P can hold two, four, six. Six electrons. And what about D? How many can it hold? Ten. Ten, because it has five lines, right? All right. So, two electrons, right? If you look here, that is the S block. Right there. One electron in all of those in the S in the first S orbital, or in their S orbital, I should say, and then S2, right? The only exception here, the only weird one, is helium. Because how many electrons does helium have? One. Two. Just kidding. Two. You're right here. So it has it has S2, right? Helium. One S2. Let's do the P block. P can hold six electrons, right? Look. One, two, three, four, five, six. This here, not helium, is the P block. Okay? That's the P block. And then the D block can hold how many? Ten. Ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is the D block. Okay? And then all you have to do is count across and you got it. So the S block, high hydrogen is right here. It's one S one. Helium is the exception. It's the only one. It's technically in the P block, but it's 1s2 because it's in the first row, okay? We also know there are rows or periods on the periodic table, right? This is what? Period 1, period 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as we go across, right? So this one here is 2s1, 2s2, right? I'm in row 2, so energy level 2, this is the first one, 2P1, 2P2, 2P3, 2P4, 2P5, 2P6. Does that make sense? What's this one? Then I start 3P1 all the way to 3P6. Back here at 4S1, 4S2. Now be careful. When we get to 4S2, what do we go back to? 3D. 4S. 4D. 4S, then we go to 3D. 
This one here is 3D1. Okay? Jared screaming to the thing. He's going, wow! I'll stop it. All the way up to 3D10. Okay?